Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first ever Virtual Agriculture Excellence Conference. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à la toute première conférence virtuelle sur l'excellence en agriculture. I know we would all prefer to meet in person, but like all farmers, we adapt. Congratulations to Jörg, Heather, and the team for putting together an outstanding program over the next three days. And it's good to see all these women on the agenda. The great work of Farm Management Canada is needed now more than ever during this stressful time. Producers turn to you for business expertise and mental health resources. On behalf of all Canadians, I want to take a moment to thank all of our farmers for the strength and resilience you have shown over the past eight months. You have continued to drive our local economies and food supply in the face of significant challenges. Labor challenges, market challenges, financial challenges, weather challenges. Through it all, you have stood strong and resilient. Your conference theme this year, Prosperity with Purpose, captured the spirit of so many entrepreneurs who I have met in my writing and across the country. As someone who has run a small business myself, I know the need to get ahead of issues and proactively manage them. And the need to grow your ability, not just to weather the storm, but also to take advantage of the opportunities. For over 25 years now, FMC has been helping farmers do just that by providing the resources they need, including financial tools, webinars, and best management practices. Today, I am announcing a federal investment of close to $3.8 million to Farm Management Canada to support two projects that help give farmers the tools they need to succeed. The first project is helping farmers build their business management skills and practices. With this investment, FMC is offering training workshops, both live and virtual, to help farmers cultivate excellence in their farm businesses. The second project will help producers and agribusiness people manage the complex challenges that they face today. Farmers have always faced risks, including weather, pests, and prices. Today, they face a whole new set of risks, including changing demands by consumers, labor challenges, a global trading environment that is more volatile and unpredictable than ever, and of course, the COVID pandemic. The funding will help FMC use its expertise to help farmers manage the wide range of risks they face. Training will be tailored to help farmers evaluate their specific risks and to develop a risk management plan to address them. Supporting farmers so they can better manage their risks is a top priority for our government. That's why I'm working to build a national consensus with my provincial colleagues to improve our business risk management programs. If we are going to ask our farm businesses to lead us on the road to recovery, we need to improve our BRM programs. Recently, I shared our government's proposal to make immediate improvements to the agri-stability program so that it pays out 50% more to farmers. Since agri-stability was cut in 2013, participation rates have declined to the point where it is clear improvements are needed. At that time, a reference margin limit was introduced to agri-stability, which can limit the payments a farmer receives and make the program so complex, farmers can't predict if they will get a payment or not. Our government is proposing to eliminate the reference margin limit once and for all, and increase the compensation rate from 70 to 80%. As an example, throughout the pandemic, beef and hog farmers have faced depressed prices related to the backlogs at meat processing plants. I have had many discussions with livestock producers across the country who have told me of their difficult circumstances. Our proposal for an improved agri-stability program would be a huge help to them. 
I'm committed to working with ministers to find a path forward as soon as possible and so that it can apply for the 2020 season. I'm very pleased to see the level of support among farmers and stakeholders across the country for this proposal. We are going to need your support if we are going to ask our provincial colleagues to step up and help. So, as you embark on the conference, I encourage and challenge you to ask yourself, where do you want the sector to be in 2030? To give you some food for thought, my vision for Canadian agriculture is one where we find balance between the large scale opportunities for exports, but also strengthening our local supply chains. My goal is for our agriculture sector to stand on the three pillars of sustainable development, economic, environmental, and social. First, of course, is what agriculture brings to the economy and how we can grow our exports to $75 billion by 2025. We are making good progress in that direction, thanks in part to our trade deal agreements that give farmers access to two thirds of the global market. Already this year, Canadian agri-food and seafood exports are up 8% compared to last year. We are on track to surpass last year's export record of $67 billion. At the same time, we remain committed to a strong supply management industry in Canada. Just as we promised, our government is delivering on full and fair compensation to dairy, poultry, and egg farmers to compensate them for impacts under CETA and the CPTPP. For dairy farmers, we are delivering the promised $1.75 billion in the next three years instead of seven. The second pillar is environmental sustainability. Taking care of our land, finding ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and reducing food waste. Science is a powerful tool in the battle against climate change. That's why we're making historic investment in science and technologies, such as low energy lighting in greenhouses. The third pillar is the social aspect, which includes food security, the vitality of our rural communities, the mental health of our farmers, and attracting more women, youth, and underrepresented groups in the sector. To give young people a voice at the leadership table, I recently launched the new Canadian Agricultural Youth Council, bringing together bright, passionate young people from across the country. And of course, just as many farmers have stepped up during the pandemic, to provide donations to local food banks, our government is delivering $200 million to support our food banks and other organizations who are helping Canadian families in their time of need. As we begin to look beyond COVID, we are counting on our agriculture sector to be a pillar of our nation's recovery. Our investment of close to $3.8 million in the great work of Farm Management Canada will help our industry own the podium on the world stage. Thank you again for your great work and all the best for a memorable AgEx. Merci encore pour tout votre travail et je vous souhaite un AgEx mémorable. Hi everyone, I'm Senator Rob Black and it's my privilege and pleasure to welcome you to the first ever virtual Agricultural Excellence Conference. This year's theme, Prosperity with Purpose, is about taking proactive approaches to farm business management. In a year when nothing is certain, Farm Management Canada is working to strengthen Canadian agriculture, encouraging farmers to seize opportunities and prepare for continued success. As a long-standing member of the agriculture community, I've risen on a number of occasions in the Senate of Canada Chamber to highlight the role of Canadian agriculture and our agri-food industries. 
I am proud of Canadian agriculture for its resiliency over these past months and indeed over many years. In spite of tough times, I am confident that agriculture will come out of this crisis stronger than ever and will be an economic driver in the post-COVID-19 recovery efforts. This year has certainly been one of the most challenging times to navigate, especially in rural communities. Despite its many downsides, the pandemic has given us all uh, opportunities to re-examine our priorities, develop backup plans, and ensure that we're ready for anything. While we continue to adapt to this new normal, it's also important to recognize the progress being made and the good work being done in our communities and within the agricultural sector by people like you. It is critical that we continue to take opportunities such as this conference to grow, to learn, and to become more resilient in the face of many challenges. I'd like to thank the team at Farm Management Canada. You have been a rock for our agricultural sector in these challenging times, and I know your efforts are appreciated by many. Thank you to everyone for your hard work and dedication to our rural communities and to the agricultural sector. Enjoy the conference. Hello everybody from my home office in friendly Manitoba. My name is Jörg Zimmermann. I'm the chair of Farm Management Canada. On behalf of the entire Farm Management Canada board, I'd like to welcome you to the virtual 2020 Ag Excellence Conference. The global pandemic has obviously presented many challenges to all of us. Rather than complaining about it, we decided early on to go virtual and use the remaining time to prepare for this event. Going virtual has meant no limitations to participation. We are astounded to welcome farm management enthusiasts from not only across Canada, but from around the world. Recently, a 14 year old teenager asked me what farm business management was all about. I responded and said, look, it's about having a plan in place to achieving your individual goals, your freedom. Here at AGX, we have the opportunity to learn about the different aspects of how to assemble such a plan. We also hear from successful farmers about their own experience in achieving their individual goals and their individual freedoms. As you might know, my favorite part of AGX is networking with other participants. It's about finding out their story. Heather ensured that there are plenty of opportunities to network and to engage with others. This is great. As always, we have an incredible lineup of speakers. Thank you for joining us this year. Thank you to your, our incredible sponsors and supporters. Without your help, an event like that wouldn't be possible. A big thank you to Heather Watson and her entire team for organizing this event. This wouldn't be possible without this amazing bunch of highly motivated people in our Ottawa head office, or should I say home office. Keep your heads up, hunker down physically, and if need be, financially. Plan for the future. Even this pandemic will come to an end. With this, I wish you all the best for the upcoming year Enjoy AGEX and most importantly, the connections you make. Thank you.